Welcome to Wild Vision TV's review of the latest news from the world of conservation. I'm Jamie Wyver. These are some of the conservation stories that have caught our attention over the past week or so. It's hard to know where to start on such a huge body of work, but let's begin with the head and shoulders. Greenpeace recently ran a high profile campaign focusing on international consumer product manufacturer Procter & Gamble and their reliance on palm oil for products such as shampoo. Deforestation of tropical rainforests to make way for palm oil plantations is a massive issue affecting endangered species such as the orangutan. Petitions, stunts and protests persuaded the company to clean up its act committing to 100% forest friendly products by 2020. Now, promising to end deforestation is one thing and there are going to be many more challenges ahead, but this is an important first step. Red kites at one of the UK's two reintroduction sites have been hit by a spate of poisonings. Kites and buzzards near Inverness appear to have been targeted deliberately with poisoned bait. Hundreds of local people turned out to protest at the killings using life-size cutouts to represent the 14 red kites and five buzzards found dead. The RSPB and a group of Scottish farmers have offered a reward of £26,000 for information that could lead to a conviction of those responsible. Project Dirt have launched a campaign for an empty classroom day. This might sound like every child's dream and probably every teacher's dream too, but it's even better than that. They're inviting schools to pledge that on Friday the 20th of June, all pupils will be learning outdoors. This could be at a local nature reserve, at the seaside, or even in the school playground. We think this is a brilliant idea. You can find out more at projectdirt.org. The EDGE project, run by the Zoological Society of London, recently released a list of the 100 most endangered and evolutionarily distinct birds. It's well worth reading through the list, which contains many fascinating birds you may never even have heard of. There are some surprises too, such as the secretary bird. There are currently no conservation programmes primarily focused on saving this absolutely unique bird. A bird of prey on stilts with amazing quill-like feathers emerging from the back of its head. Many birds on the list could well be extinct, with no recent sightings of birds such as the new Caledonian owlet nightjar, the Congo bay owl, or the white-eyed river martin. You can see the full list at edgeofexistence.org. And talking of vanishing bird species, here's my book of the week. I'd like to thank my conservation science master's colleague Nika for this one. I visited the Ghosts of Gone Birds exhibition back in 2011 and was amazed by the stunning artwork by the likes of Ralph Steadman, Daphila Scott and Margaret Atwood. Sculptures, cartoons and even knitting to bring back the beauty of the Great Auk, the Passenger Pigeon and many others. The book draws together some of the beautiful work from the show and while it can't bring back those lost species, it really helps us to remember them and reminds those of us who work in conservation why we still need to fight to save species and habitats. If you miss the show, don't worry, Ghosts of Gone Birds is an ongoing project. You can find out more at ghostsofgonebirds.com. Thank you for watching. You can stay up to date with new films on our website by signing up for our newsletter at wildvision.tv slash subscribe.